There's more than one way to cook a biscuit, and there's more than one way to divide polynomials. Introducing synthetic division. You got the same goal as of dividing polynomials, like long division, but just using different methods. Most people love synthetic division because it means that they, well, don't have to do long division. I also think it's just fun. So here we go. First thing we do with synthetic division is set up a nice chart like so. It kind of looks like the division symbol, but flipped upside down. And here's our focus, the coefficients of whatever's being divided into. In this case, the coefficient of x cubed is one. The coefficient of x squared is two. Coefficient of negative five, sorry, the coefficient of x is negative five. And the coefficient of, well, the term that has no x would be considered negative six. Then we wanna take whatever is dividing into that here, x minus two, and we're actually gonna take the opposite of this term. So since this is x minus two, we wanna go ahead and divide by positive two. If it was x plus two, then we would use negative two here. We're always gonna take the opposite. From here, we're gonna go ahead and follow the seemingly magic process, and you just do this process over and over again. What we do is we bring down this number, that's one, and then we're gonna multiply two times one. That gives us two. Then what we're gonna do is add, here is add these together. Two plus two is four. Then I have two times four. That's gonna give me eight. Then we've got negative five plus eight. That's gonna give us three. Then we've got two times three, which is going to be six, and negative six plus six is gonna give us zero. Here's what we do with these numbers. These, this is basically saying, and it seems a little mysterious, but when we divide this polynomial, this whole thing with all the coefficients, by the x minus two that we are working with, whoops, x minus two we are working with before, these are gonna be our new coefficients of our answer. So this is actually going to be our answer with the coefficient of one x squared plus four x plus three. And since we have a zero here, that means there is no remainder. So this is going to be our final answer. And you can see that this is always, well, typically if we're dividing by an by a single uh, a degree of one, this is always gonna be one degree less. We started with x cubed, now we've got x squared. So this, x cubed plus two x squared minus five x minus six divided by x minus two, setting up those coefficients, bring down, multiply, add, bring down, multiply, add, bring down, multiply, add, gives us our coefficients of our answer, in this case, x squared plus four x plus three. Next example, 3x cubed plus x squared minus 2x plus 4 divided by x plus 1. All right, we're going to start with our chart, move on to our coefficients. It's going to be 3, 1, negative 2, 4. Then we've got our x plus 1, we're going to use the opposite of that, so minus 1. Then we're just going to proceed with our little magic process, that's gonna be three, negative one times three is gonna be negative three. Then we've got one plus negative three, that's gonna be negative two. Negative one times negative two, that's gonna be positive two. Then we've got negative two plus two, that's gonna be zero. Negative one times zero is gonna be zero. Then we've got four plus zero is going to be four. Okay. From here, we've got our three. That's going to be three X squared minus two X plus zero. Now, since it's a plus zero, we don't really need 
a plus zero because that doesn't mean anything. So I'm going to take that out. Now this four here, this is new. This four is our remainder. Now think back, what did we do with our remainder when we use long division? Well, we added that. So we're going to say plus four divided by whatever we were originally dividing by, which in this case is x plus one. So this is going to be plus four over x plus one. So that's new. Make sure you note that whenever you have the remainder here, you're just going to add that and divide by whatever your original divisor was. That gives us a final answer, 3x squared minus 2x plus 4 divided by x plus 1. Challenge time! All right, for this example, we've set up the synthetic division chart, but something is wrong here. This is not set up correctly. I want you to think about why do you think this is not correct based on what we have here. We've got coefficient of 2, negative 5, 5, and negative 2. We've got the opposite of this x plus 2 minus 2. So what do you think is going wrong? Okay, so our error actually lies right in here. We need a 0 in between the 2 and the negative five. Look at that lovely zero. All right, if you thought that there needed to be a zero here, you were absolutely correct. If you didn't get it, that's okay. And if you didn't try, then get your life together, come on. All right, this zero coefficient actually goes for the x cubed term. Notice up here, we go straight from x to the fourth to x squared. There is no x cubed term here. Since there's no x cubed term here, we put the coefficient of zero to represent that place as a placeholder. Then from there, we could continue with synthetic division. So that's gonna be two, two times negative two, negative four, add those, negative four, negative two times negative four is positive eight, another beautiful eight. All right, negative five plus eight is three, three times negative two, negative six, add those, negative one, negative two times negative one is positive two, and we get a remainder of zero. So our final answer in this case is gonna be two x cubed minus four x squared plus three x minus one. And there we go. So the new thing here is whenever you skip a degree or do not have a degree represented, we need to put a coefficient of zero as a placeholder while doing our synthetic division.